Hello, this is Youngy Emma's Kitchen. I'm going to make a dried palak bugeotje bokgum today. So, need to fry them first. Okay, when you add the dried pollock in your uh, hot oil and bubbly oil is going on and sizzling sound is going on and color turns to kind of a brown and keep stir up, stirring up and color change like a kind of a medium deep brown color like this and then our uh, oil bubbles almost gone and color changed enough that means it's fully cooked crispy see this you need to see that the change Okay, I'm going to check uh, one piece. Oh, okay. Oh, so hot. Okay. Did you hear the sound? Okay. Okay, let's start to season the dried fried pollock and hit the fire and keep the very low heat until I re am ready for everything okay this uh, dried fried pollock I put my paper towels uh, several layers on the bottom of it and then I uh, wait until it's well drained and so when I touch it like this and not much oily you know on my hands and then I tried a small piece like this very crispy light fluffy and uh, even babies can eat like the crispy uh, very light okay this is roughly about two cups of uh, dried pollock fried before the fry before frying it it's a two cups packed and after frying it it's you know uh, about two cups of a uh, uh, dried pala when I measure it like this about two cups can you see the two cups mm -hmm. okay one tablespoon of a sugar and one tablespoon of a soy kind of a one-to-one -one ratio and then half teaspoon of uh, minced garlic and heat the fire a little higher and then wait until um, my sugar dissolved to it up and then uh, one teaspoon of sesame oil for the flavor but actually I run out of my sesame oil so I'm adding half teaspoon but uh, always uh, that sesame oil is for the flavor so you have to add more or uh, a little less doesn't, ma doesn't matter but if you like it you can add of course a lot more it start to bubble boil and then we can add uh, one tablespoon of cooking syrup wait until fully boiled actually the dried pollock or dried anchovy or dried shrimp they are all from the ocean 
from the ocean so it's a uh, it's already have a salty taste to it so you don't have to add a lot of soy or salt like that and I'm adding half teaspoon of a rice uh, brown rice vinegar but it could be white rice vinegar or white vinegar or apple cider vinegar and it's up to your choice okay see this like a fully boiled bubble like that and then you can turn the light up and then two cups of a fully uh, fried polyp you can add it to it and stir up while you are stirring up like this, you can add your favorite toasted sesame seed or dried onion bits and dried nuts and anything you want, you can add it to it. But this time we make it very simple. So just sprinkle as much as you want toasted sesame seed. That should be it. And after that, you can taste one of them. Uh, you know, if you think it's not too tasteful or not too salty enough to you, or if you like to add another flavor, a spicy one, you can add it to it later on. But I'm going to taste one. Mm. Very crispy and light, and light sweetness comes through, and light uh, saltiness from soy and also dried pollock itself. So it's a great combination to me, but uh, I told you before, if you like to have more saltier or, you know, um, more strong soy sauce flavor to it, you can uh, add a two tablespoon. Okay, spicy version of a dried pollock, pugoche uh, bokkum. Once you fried your dried pollock and well drained and set aside, in a pan in kind of a medium heat and two tablespoons of a, a Korean gochujang and one teaspoon of a soy sauce and one tablespoon of sugar half to one teaspoon of a minced garlic we always add to it and then here we since we are using gochujang is kind of a thick and I'm adding uh, one tablespoon of a water and then mix it well while it's boiling and add uh, one teaspoon of uh, sesame oil And then, after it's starting to boil, we can add uh, two tablespoons of cooking syrup. I already add one tablespoon, so it's a two tablespoon of cooking syrup. While it's fully boiling, oh, we can add any um, your favorite nuts. Dried pollock and coating it well. Stir up. Bottom to top, top to bottom. You should try. And always no guilty for sprinkle extra sesame, toasted sesame seeds. Okay, this is dried pollock seasoning Korean bugeotche bokkum uh, from Young Yamma's kitchen. I hope you can enjoy it and see you next time. Bye bye.